violence targeting the LGBTQ community of college-age individuals 20 to 30 years old. Violence as defined by the World Health Organization is the intentional use of physical force or power, threatened or actual, against oneself, another person, or against a group or community that either results in or has a high likelihood of resulting in injury, death, psychological harm, maldevelopment, or deprivation. Violence targeting the LGBTQ community is considered a bias crime or a hate crime. The Federal Hate Crime Statistics Act defines bias crime as a crime motivated in whole or in part by hatred against a victim based on his or her race, religion, sexual orientation, ethnicity, national origin, or disability. Hate crimes include psychological or physical harm such as assaults, threats, property damage, and bias-motivated degrading comments. Victims of hate crimes are reluctant to come forward because they feel isolated and fear repercussions of a perpetrator. Some states do not have laws protecting individuals from discrimination based on sexual orientation. Alabama, Alaska, Idaho, Mississippi, Montana, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, South Dakota, Utah, Virginia, West Virginia. In 2011, U.S. law enforcement agencies reported 6,222 hate crime incidents. 20.8% resulted from sexual orientation bias. 9.3% of sexual orientation-based hate crimes took place in college or school settings. Beginning in 2013, law enforcement agencies will be able to get even more specific when reporting bias motivation. For example, the new bias categories of gender and gender identity, which added four new bias types, were added to the FBI's hate crime data collection. 54% of LGBT people are concerned about being the victim of a hate crime. 20% of faculty, staff, and students surveyed feared for their physical safety because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. More than one-third of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender undergraduate students have experienced harassment within the past year. Examining the social ecological model, identifying prevention strategies at the interpersonal level to prevent violence against the gay community, we can look at educational levels. Those who are educated are less likely to commit hate crimes against the gay community. Those who have knowledge to know being gay is not contagious and that is not an optional lifestyle. And having mutual respect for other individuals and being accepting of people's differences. At the interpersonal factors, having counselors confiding in someone you trust. Friends who are gay. Having gay friends can make one more accepting of the community and less likely to commit hate acts. And your family. No family bias towards gay individuals. If you're raised to hate a certain classification of individuals, it can influence your behavior. Organizational factors. Church. Attending a church that condones homosexuality versus one that condemns it. Your workplace. Some jobs have stricter harassment policies and focus on zero tolerance, which means they're not accepting of any gay or lesbian jokes or hatred towards individuals. Community organizations. Be involved in organizations in your community that are accepting of homosexual individuals. Community factors. Those in larger cities versus smaller country towns can influence whether someone becomes a victim or a perpetrator of violence. Local organizations available in the community. Larger cities are going to have a denser population and there are going to be more organizations available for support. And also medium neighborhood age. Younger communities are less likely to tolerate hate violence against homosexual individuals. Policy factors. At the state level, putting laws in place protecting individuals from discrimination based on sexual orientation. Being able to recognize every individual is the same. For example, Ohio now recognizing marriage, gay marriage from other states. Local laws. Law enforcement treating all hate crimes equally and police having the knowledge to classify them properly and national government, taking a stand in enforcing anti-discrimination and hate crime laws to show support. A hate crime is different than a simple assault because it is an attack on not just one individual victim, but an attack on everyone who shares a particular characteristic.